Greetings and welcome to another Maple 15 screencast. This short screencast is all about derivatives, the bread and butter of first semester calculus. Let's jump right in. Let's work with a simple cubic x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. Type in this expression and hit enter. There are at least four different ways to differentiate expressions like this using Maple. One way is to use a context menu. Right click on the output or control click if you're using a Mac and select differentiate and then the independent variable and Maple computes the result. A second way is to use the command line and the diff command. Type in diff then open parenthesis then the expression to differentiate then a comma then the independent variable close parentheses and hit enter. A third way is to use the expressions palette. Click on the derivative form to insert it into the workspace. Type in the variable name and then hit tab and type in the expression, being very sure to put parentheses around the expression if it contains multiple terms, and hit enter. Finally, you can define the expression as a function using the arrow notation. then just type f prime of x. Once you've computed a derivative, you can save it to a new name using a context menu. For example, let's assign the derivative of our cubic to the name f prime. This doesn't define the derivative as a function. For example, typing in f prime of 1 doesn't actually plug 1 into the derivative of f. But you can use context menus to work with that expression as if it were a function. For example, you can evaluate f prime at x equals 1 using the evaluate at a point menu option. Or you could plot the derivative. So Maple provides a number of ways to calculate and work with derivatives. Play around and learn some more. Thanks for watching.